Hey everybody, Copper One back here. I made the, uh, I'm gonna try to shoot this video again of my new Victrola that I got. I did it once before, but I realized it was a vertical after I'd taken it. Um, so I'm gonna expand a little bit more on this channel to a bit more Beyond Coins, and this is a part of that. This is a Victrola I bought today, a VV440, based on the serial number. It is from 1928. Here's just some various wood parts that were sitting in here. Um, when I bought it, they just go with a machine like right here, where a bit has been broken off, or down here. This is a bit annoying, because this is where the screw goes up into the wood there, where it's broken off, so... <sighs> I'm gonna have to fix that cavity up, it doesn't quite open right. None of these have their, um, knobs on them, so I will have to replace those. In the meantime, I did just put a screw here on this one, so I can just open up to here. Um... These two doors on the left are filled with like glue or something, I'm not entirely sure why. Somebody looks like glued up these doors, because like right here, you see, there is a crack in there. It doesn't go all the way through, but it is a decent crack in the wood here. Breaking the wood, I guess. Not all the way through, but uh, and then it's been glued here along the side. Um, this one has the same thing, except it is much bigger of a dent. And a dent, bigger crack almost all the way through. If I can get it to focus on there. There we go. Well, maybe. Anyway, this goes almost all the way through here. This does. Come on, don't focus on the background. There we go. Maybe you see that well enough. And anyway, so this has been glued up. It wasn't quite glued straight. As you can see, it's like curved. Well, that's annoying, and all this glue here. I can't close this door after this one. I have to put this in, and then put that in, which, yeah, you know, it's not great, but the biggest problem is without reproducer up there, which I'll show you in a minute. These are just the storage cabinets here uh, for storing records. I did put some albums in here. I can't open it right now because I have to push it open from the back uh, just because no knobs. Um, there is no back cover on this, unfortunately, um, but it's not like it's a big deal, it doesn't affect things too much. This is the platter, of course, up here. Um, the brake does work, I did wind it up a little bit earlier, but I probably need to do it a bit more. Um, it does look like it is missing the, uh, empty, the used needle tin that would go here in this spot. That's, it's not a super big deal, but it'll um, be nice to have, of course. It's the uh, Victrola plate there with the serial number and the model number, which based on serial number, like I said, it is from 28. And if I do wind this up a little bit for you here, um, you will see it does work. I've got it, the speed fixed at about 78 RPM, I believe. I have to get our record on to see for certain. I have one with some needles. Uh, online, they'll be here probably next week, and I'll get to test it out a bit more and, and trying things. Uh, so as of current, I haven't been able to play a record on here, obviously. Uh, looking at the reproducer, it's the biggest problem. You see, there's electrical tape on this, which is never good. And then up at the, re uh, and then it's been painted. It looks like it's been spray painted or paint painted in some form, regardless. Um, and yeah, that's not good. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this type of thing. I will have to be doing some more research, asking some folks about this, and seeing what I can figure out. But I will most definitely try and get this to work to play some records. Um, well, that made quite a noise. But yeah, it is. It could be worse. I guess I'll put it that way. The finish. Not great, you know, it's very thin, it's worn off in some places. This here on the inside is what it's supposed to look like, is where it's, you know, no sun has gotten here or anything, that's a, like original, or about as close to the original color as you'll get. But yeah, I think that's about really all I have to say about it, for the time being, anyhow. And hopefully, uh, over the coming weeks, I will be able to fix this up in order to play some of these records, and... Hopefully bring you all along that journey with me. This is my first Vic, uh, Victrola machine. So uh, hopefully things work out. I think that's all for today. If you have any more questions, I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. 
uh, in the comments. But I guess that's all for now. Thanks for watching.